Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. <clears throat> my name is Andy. My channel is Finding Value. Today we're going to go over an overall market update. Uh, look at the S and P 500. Look at the Nasdaq. Uh, give you my financial opinion there. Maybe look at the dollar, ten-year yield, uh, and kind of just look to see around what what's going on in the other markets. So let's jump in. I'll give you my opinion here. This is the DXY uh, real strong trading day. Uh, last trading session. Uh, up 0.85 percent so we have a stronger dollar uh money is selling off uh selling out of bonds and transitioning into dollars i think we've got the 10-year yield rocketing higher uh, breaking through that resistance line that resistance line is uh this white line there going across so we start breaking that we could see definitely higher yields and Higher yields could put pressure somewhere in the system and break something um, as we go up because there's we've been at very low uh, yields for a very long time and low yields you've got all these zombie companies that are dependent on free money and low yield so when this goes and reverses back up it may start breaking some some companies out there I don't know which ones I, I don't know which debt but uh, as it goes up we'll find out what that is. Looking at the CRB index, uh, this is continuing to go higher. And we got a little bit of a down day uh, last trading session, basically the sell off everything session. Uh, precious metals did well, but everything else kind of sold off. But overall, the CRB index has done quite well. Uh, are we going to get a pullback at some point? I mean, this thing has had a monstrous run. Uh, without really any large consolidation period. It's possible at some point to get a consolidation in the CRB index uh, where this is like a first leg and then we consolidate for a little bit and then we get another big third leg uh, on a much larger time frame scale. Because, I mean, if you look, we've had this long uh, consolidation period here and we've just had a rocketing move uh, off the bottom in 2020. At some point, you'd think we'd get a consolidation period, um, but who knows? I mean, this here was a consolidation period. Uh, it's not a huge one, but it, it is one. Uh, it, I don't. Ex I mean, I don't expect it to be you know some massive consolidation where we come all the way back down here. But I mean, we could consolidate sideways, create a basically a flag pattern, maybe something that looks something like this, you know, and then we go up again, but. Uh, We'll see. We'll see what happens. Now, looking at the overall markets, we're going to look at the uh, S&P 500 first. Well, here's the S&P 500. We've got so selling pressure still uh, as this thing comes on back. This is on a monthly candlestick basis. You can see resistance support there, resistance support there. And we just continue to head lower. Uh, this is what it looks like zoomed in. So we. We kind of broke back, we broke down, consolidated for a little bit, broke through that, did a retest, and now we're shooting lower again. Could we can you know continue lower? Very well could. Uh, this move with the large selling pressure in uh, stocks tends to make it an, a sell everything event as the market deleverages. Uh, deleveraging type of events means that people have to raise money to meet margin calls and the sell everything approach usually gets applied. So we've had uh, two large down selling days in a row. Uh, the momentum is still there. We are coming to some support in that general vicinity. So we'll, we'll see if uh, the selling pressure remains. In uh, US Composite Index, NASDAQ, the selling pressure the past two days has also been quite strong. Uh, this does look like we are rolling over and it does look like we are heading lower with that selling pressure. There's what it looks like from a big long-term perspective. Looks so similar to this big pullback here in the mid 2000s. That's kind of what it looks like to me. Looking at some of these other companies like Chipotle, I'm just kind of picking some random ones. They're selling off this past trading session below support resistance. Uh, Apple was selling off. These are some of the leaders. 
And to me, it looks like this is rolling over and we'll see if these lows hold. If we create a newer low, we are in a downtrend. Amazon selling off. And that has that kind of rolling over type look. Uh, this is Meta, Facebook. It's got that rollover and it was selling off pretty hard the past two days. Uh, we'll see if this support area holds. We've got Google selling off. Everything's basically selling off with these kind of rounding tops. Uh, Baidu, getting a little bit of selling pressure. Visa. Visa's holding up actually quite well. Um, we've got the support line here. We haven't broken that yet, but we did sell off the past two days. Uh, MasterCard, very similar. Uh, the Trade Desk. And I'm just kind of looking around, seeing what these look like. Uh, this is a long term. This is on a logarithmic, long-term average, and we're we're coming right on support, and we'll see if the support holds or if we launch lower. So we are testing this support line, and we'll see what happens here next. Roku getting a little bit of selling pressure. We are at um, the lower level of support. Uh, this very well could sell off. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, I have no skin in this game, guys, but let's we'll watch it. Uh, and then uh, emerging markets, it's still within its pattern. Uh, the stronger dollar, this this does not like stronger dollar. And the the entire uh, the entire uh, home builders are coming back. I think we're going to probably do a retest of this breakout. Uh, I don't I don't really own that much in it. So, but if it comes all the way back down, maybe we get a little bounce. But uh, that's also heading lower. So the overall market, it, it, a lot of selling pressure. Um, we are actively heading lower at the moment. We finished strong to the downside. We are testing uptrend lines. We've got nice rollover looking patterns. To me, it looks like we want to go lower in uh, the overall markets. This has an impact on commodities in general. Uh, it could pull us a little bit lower with it uh, in a deleveraging type event. Uh, we do have interest rates going up. That puts pressure on that to sell off. We also have a stronger dollar. Um, actually, let's take a quick look at the bond market. Uh, that's TLT, just to see what's going on there. Uh, that also is selling off. That's what the increasing interest rate environment is doing. Uh, there's your trend line. We have broken that and it is uh, selling off and heading lower. We'll see if this can gather anything here or if we're just gonna continue lower. To me, it looks like it, it's okay to move on up, but that doesn't mean that's what we'll get. But big picture view, uh, it definitely looks weak. That's for sure. All right, guys, uh, we'll, we'll stop it there. Um, if you like the content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, subscribe to uh, the website, the Platinum Membership in the description link below. If you want to attend question and answer sessions and, and get more of a direct line to me. All right, guys, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll catch you later. This is Finding Value.